Oh, hi. I was looking my friend, Jim the Bear. You know that hugging is real good for your children. If you hug at least 12 times a day, it will support the growth of your child. So today we're gonna hug a lot with your child. But make sure you teach them that in the coming time you can only hug with your parents, with siblings, and that's it, okay? But for now, I used Jim the Beer today to hug. Are you ready to see me begin, son? Let's go. Did you bring your hands? I brought some friends. Look, they are hugging, and they are hugging, and I think they're going to sing with me, all right? Yay! Hands. Yay. <laughs> oh, everyone, everyone please clap your hands, hands and sing along with me. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? How do you do, everyone? How do you do? I was trying to make some fun, and we'll get you on the run. How do you do, everyone? How do you do? Are you doing fine? It's time for the first hug because they sang really well. Give them a hug. Very good. Um, what's your name? Can you tell me your name? What? Wow, that's a great name. Do you remember my name? Yes, that's correct. It's Timo. And do you remember my friend's name? Yes, very good. It's Jim the Bear. Well, now we know everybody's name. You can stand up, give a big hug again, and be ready to start to warm up. Put them down and listen up. Let's relax and get comfortable with a nice, easy walk. We're gonna walk. And you can support them if they're not walkers yet, support them in their elbows or in their armpits. I walk with them. If they can't walk, just let go of them and they walk by themselves. Very good, well done. Let's get moving with another locomotor skill, running. We're gonna hey, run. Kids, can you run hold with your mom and dad? Bits. On your mark, hold our hands. get set, and go. Run as fast as you can. Well done, you're doing really good. You're going really fast. You gotta write around. Well done. Freeze. Very good. Isn't Our it? next locomotor skill is next jumping, thing. which We're some kids jump. are still learning to do at this age. Some kids are still learning. Your so teacher might show you some different ways to jump to keep you challenged. Try and bounce. Are you ready? In their Go. If they're better jumpers, try to jump with you. And if they're real good jumpers, Go behind them and let them jump yourself. And maybe you can jump together like this. Oh. And Jim is not a good jumper yet, so he needs to. Very good. Or once in a while, you can lift them up so they feel what's like to get up the floor. in two different ways. We're gonna fly. First, parents pick up your child any way you'd like pick them up. and lift them up and down and dip and dive and let them feel lift like them they're up. flying through the air as we all move together you in a circle. Like this. Hold them under your arm. Fly them around. Make sure their head is up and even so they train their back muscles. And maybe you can fly them like this as well. So they fly around your hands. And you're way around so we don't get busy. And hold them under your arm. Please, now put your child down and let's all spread our wings and run around and fly through the spread air. Spread your arms. Show them how it's done. Spread your arms and run. Like flying in the air. 
very well done. Oh, that's some good flying. Wow. It's not. Now let's review now running, we those jumping, skills. and flying. I'm going to do them again. Shh. Hey, listen. kids, listen to the it's music. Not. It will tell you what to do. We're going to run. start with running. Run together with your child. Run, 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 run. your wings and oh. fly. We're going to fly, spread them on you. And you can of course also relieve them to fly. They can run and fly by themselves. Very good. Now jump. And let's jump again. Ouch, you did it really good. Give yourself a round of applause. Lift them up and give them a big hug. And if you can remember, it's already the fourth on the hug counter. So keep track on how many hugs you're giving in this lesson to see how many hugs you need to give in one day. All right, then let's go because we're ready to do the next activity. I've changed Jim the bear for my new friend, Grippy Jim. You know why I took him? Because he got really strong hands, look. I don't need to hold him, he's just still hugging me. That, that means it's time for a new hug for you as well. So that's number five. Okay, you're doing a good job. For this exercise, we need to let go. Thank you. And we need some sticks. There you go. See if you can find some sticks at home. Because for this exercise, we're gonna practice a lot with grip. So they develop some strong hands. And parents, you can help them because when they need to grab the stick, they're gonna put their hands around it. And you can gently hold their hand so they won't fall. If they're really strong already, you can lighten your grip and eventually you can maybe let go of your hands and they can hide by themselves. Okay, did you find some sticks? Because then we're ready to start. Listen up. For the first exercise, our first grip and activity is the kid Hold skid. Hold Have your back. child lie on their back on the mat. They should be holding one they stick up in the air with stick. one hand at each end of the stick. Parents, you stand, stand up at your child's head and, and grab their stick in the middle between the hands and pull them around on the mat. It's Skidding really good for their core back. muscles because you lift them a little and then give them a ride to do the limb move. Let's see if it goes fast and really slow. And you can see it's pain. Lift them up a little, slide, and if they're really good, you can let go a little. You can only hold the stick, for example. So they really need to get some tension on their core and on their hands as well. There they go. Very good. And after this, your living room is clean as well. So that's an advantage. Freeze! Freeze! Now make sure your child has two sticks oh. to try these stick tapping challenges the stick. to the music. Put your Tap child on your lap. Together. Give them the sticks. And you're gonna tap them together. Tap your sticks on the floor. Tap them on the floor. And see if they can do it by themselves. Hammer the nail. Try and hammer the nail. We have fine motor skills. Well done. Very good. Now have your kids lie on their back again, holding Put one just stick one away. stick as before. Lie them on their back. Their and now you're going to stand at the end of your feet. See if they can and pull they themselves up the to a sit, again. then to a stand, and see then maybe even pull if them they up to a with their feet off the floor. In a sitting then position. Just for fun, stand up. Places. Then you're going to lift them up a little. And put them back down. Very good. Up, under the feet, and in the air. Back on their back. And make sure they come up all by themselves. You can help them only a little. So they train their whole body while standing up. And their arms as well when hanging in the air. Let's see, they can hang a little longer. Yes, very good. Up, 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 up. There 
Very good. Go down in it. Up, 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 up. Very good. Freeze. Very good. Make sure you now have two sticks for more tapping challenges. Grab Kids, the second stick. Tap one of your sticks on one of your hold, mom's or dad's sticks. Hold one in the hand of your child and one in your own hand. Then tap them together. Make sure they need to aim for your stick. Good teamwork. Now can you tap both of your sticks on both uh, of we, your mom's or dad's two. sticks? So try if they can reach the top. Or maybe very low. Remember you can do the points of the sticks together which is really hard. With the long hands. Or tap them on your Tapping. Very good. Okay, one more time, kids. Please one more time. On back Put them on our back. You need only one stick. And you're going to lift them as high as you can. Then lift their feet Make sure the that their hands are strong. Stand up, lift up, and try if they can put their knees up as well. Come down again. Grab the stick with your hands Grab. too. Up, up, up. And see if they can lift their knees. If they're having a hard time doing this, you can help them by supporting it with your own knee. And go down. Up. And go down. Up. Up. And see if they can hold it for a longer time. And down. And maybe you can do it by yourself. So try it. Challenge your child. Now without the stick, make sure Let's they grab relax. your thumbs, lift them up, and give them a big hug. And as you all know, it's hug number six, so we're on a good way. Very well done. Are you ready to do some skills? We got three hugging skills today, and the first one is called the lock roll. Look, you're gonna lay on your back, give them a good, good hug which makes hug number seven on the hug counter for today. Make sure their elbows are tight around your child. So if you're starting to roll, you don't, you don't squash your child. So roll, support on your elbow, go over your child. Up, and go back, and your elbows go over your child. And keep watching them. I think they're smiling at you because it's quite funny to do this. And they're getting loads and loads and loads of hugs. That's what they like. All right, now it's your turn to try. done hugging during the lock rolls? I think he did very well. Did you like it? He didn't stop smiling at me. For the next 15, put your child on your feet, face to face, hold them under your armpits, and then we're gonna fly a little. And this is fun because if you're face to face, you can see their facial expressions. And if they like it, you could go a little faster. But if they don't like it, go a little slower because they can express some fear. Furthermore, it's very good for the vestibular system since it will be turning around. It will be a little dizzy and decibel oriented. Okay, let's try. Turn them around. And go the other way. So you don't get dizzy as well. And if they like it that much, maybe you can go up and down a little. Up and down. And at the end, hop. Give them a big hop. Which makes already hop number nine for the 
Put your child all them in their side. You're gonna put them on your head. Your child in the reflex will go up with their legs and up with their head if you start turning around. This is very good for their back muscles, but they can be a little scared, so start slow. You're gonna turn them. And if you hear them laughing, you can go faster. But if you hear them crying, go slower and see what happens. Go the other way. And you can make it harder by going down a little or up or do a little jump. That you will take a little back. And if you're done, you can put them back down. But before they go down, give them a hug first, which makes hug number 10 already. Enjoy and go try. My name is teacher Elske and I'm going to help teacher Timo with the next activity. Alright. But where is he? Oh! Timo! Hey! Oh! Oh, there you are! are. You I'm to... Oh yeah, I forgot almost. We're going to play with the balls. Yes! Are you going to help me? Yes! Okay, can you at home grab a ball? Then go sit with your mommy or daddy or your siblings. Spread your legs and you can roll the ball to each other. Wow, very good. Well done! It's good that we're keeping distance, Timo. Yeah, right. We can play it together at distance. For the next one, you need, you need to go over there. Oh. But that's why it's too close. You're gonna lay it on your belly. Alright. And then you're gonna roll it to oh. each other. Watch out that it doesn't touch your face. <laughs> oh. And this is very good for their back muscles because you need to get up. Oh. Grab it. And go. For the next activity, go up, spread the legs, and I'm gonna roll it through my legs. Whoa! And teach the else is gonna roll it back. Oh, very good. Very good. Oh, maybe I can turn around too. There we go. Yeah. Wow, this is hard. Oh. And for the last exercise, put it on the floor. And gently kick it to the oh. other one. Uh oh, it's going oh. down. Put your foot on it, hold your balance, and then kick it. Oh. Oh. Put your foot on it, and kick it. And for the next activity, where we're going to clean up the ball, I'm going to take my friend Jim. Hold him under his armpits. One, two, three. And kick the ball away. Whoa, that was so hard. Very well done. What a nice activity. And since you're holding your child, you can give him the next hug because he did so well. And this is already the 11th hug of the class. Only one to go, and your child is growing of hugging. Very well done. We already did 11 hugs, Jim. But before we're going to do the 12th one, we need to wait because I got a little surprise for you. Watch. Five. Before I can get the surprise, I'm going to need my magic wand. Here it is. What a coincidence. And I'm going to do a spell. Wibbly, bubbly, bubbles. Can you please get some bubbles? Wow. There's so many. Look. They come from everywhere. Can you come and sing and dance with me through the bubbles? I'm going to use all of our body parts. Listen carefully. There's so many from all sides. Wow. 
Your shoulder, up. or your elbow, maybe, or use your heel, and you can dance again. A bubble dance. And when you're dancing, try and pop the bubbles with your fingers. or they danced with us. I think they did. Do you think it's time for a hug? Or are we gonna say goodbye first to the kids and then the second thing? So we had a lesson full of hugs. Did you count with me how many hugs? Yeah, right, 11. But do you remember what I said at the beginning of the class about hugs? Your child needs 12 to grow. So before we go and see a song, we're gonna give one last hug in this class. So you already did 12 today. But don't forget to give them 12 hugs every day. And if you wanna do more, that's fine, of course. But for now, we're gonna sing a song. And I think my little friends are gonna sing with me. And are you gonna sing with me as well? Can you clap your hands? Oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. Bye bye, everyone, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon, I'll see you soon, bye bye everyone, I'll see you soon, at the little gym. Bye bye everyone, bye bye everyone, bye bye everyone, it's time to stay at home. And now go and give everybody in your house your siblings and your parents. A big, big hug. So you get these 12 hugs a day. See you next time. Bye bye.